Hey bloggers, Jonathan here. And the other day I stumbled upon something really cool and I just had to create a video to show this to you. Uh, it's actually funny, Bob and I were working on uh, continuing the process of building out Blogging Your Passion University 301, which we are really excited about launching out to you guys. So pay attention, that should be coming through shortly. But anyway, we were doing this, and we like to use Google Docs so we can get all of our notes and kind of collaborate together. And I noticed something new that Google is just releasing that I think can really help to enhance your writing when it comes to creating content for your blog. So what it is, it's a new research function. And I'm just going to show you kind of live how this works. So if you go under Tools you'll see that there's a new research tab or you can do control alt plus R and if you click on that then you'll see that there's actually uh, various things that you can do here um, if I were to click on this little arrow you can search everything which means it's going to search uh, articles so you can do a little bit of research on your topic find out what other people have said about the topic in general. Uh, you can find some images, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Or a really cool feature is that you can actually find quotes, which can really enhance your content, adding in quotes from other people. And so you have those choices. I'm going to just keep it on everything right now at this moment. And then down here you've got you just kind of different ideas that they're going to throw in front of you. So there's basically three sections. You've got everything, you have images, and you have quotes. Now right below that, let me see if I can move this down a bit so you can see this. There is a section on settings. And so this area is uh, related to basically the image settings. You can do non -fil not filtered by license or free to use, share, or modify even commercially. Now I will still say that you might want to still use your discretion. I've often seen, well first of all, the quality of images aren't usually all that great because they don't exactly relate. So you have to dig a little bit. But also I've seen some images in there that look like they definitely are probably copyright protected. So you definitely want to use that to your own discretion, but I just wanted to show you that settings feature down there. All right, so let's use an example. Let's say I wanted to write an article on how to budget. I can begin typing my introduction, kind of getting some of my thoughts out there, and I say, okay, I want to get some more information. What's out there on the, on the web? So if I were to type in how to budget, Then it's going to throw up there some articles that I could do some research on. So I can kind of scan through here. And what do you know? Bob's on here. How to make a budget. So if I were to, I can do three things from this point. I can preview it. I can insert a link. Or I can cite, and I'll kind of walk through these quickly. So if I want to preview, I click on it, and look at this. It's really cool. It kind of pop, pops open the, the web page. Now, if I want to go read it, I can actually click right on this section, and it's going to open up a new window for me. And here's Bob's article about making a budget. So I can scan through here, and if there's something really cool, an idea, uh, like let's say, let's say this right here. Okay, this formula is really cool. So I want to mention that in my article. Then I can do that. Usually I like to come over here and copy and paste it into Notepad first. Then I can come over here and I can add that formula over here. And let me just hide this. So now I've got this cool article. But I want to make sure that I don't just steal content. Because the purpose here is not for me to go grab paragraphs from all of these articles and plagiarize content. That's not what we're doing at all. But we definitely, you know, we can do some research and then cite people who have some really good ideas. So if I wanted to cite this, I come back over here and I click on that site. It provides a footnote 
as you can see with the link down here where it says Bob Lodick how to make a budget gives the link back to his site which he's really going to appreciate because you've just kind of given some credit to him and provided a link for him so that is really cool so as you can see that's really really cool and I can still continue to just type along my article kind of go along with it I can do some more research or let's say I want to grab a a quote so I hit this quote feature and I look over here and okay here's a cool quote by Ronald Reagan I can click on this insert and now I've got a neat quote and again it's going to cite it down here with a link to where it came from so I continue to type my article let's say I wanted to add an image and again like I said not the most ideal place for you to get images but Google does make it available to you so use it at your own discretion but if I click on quotes or sorry if I click on images then I'm going to be given a bunch of images here and again some of these you may have to dig a while before you find something that's relevant something that kind of fits what you're trying to do but if you scroll through long enough maybe you'll find something that might work for you alright let's say this picture of this credit cards right here so this is coming from Flickr here's what's really cool I can grab this image drag and drop it over into my document which is really cool and again it's going to cite it down here below where I got the image from as well so as you can see there's just a lot of really cool features here that you should definitely give a try